So anyways, <laughs> there's been uh, the Me Too movement has happened since the last time I was here. Yeah, no, it had to happen, Jesus Christ. But you know, I think it's dying down, you know? I don't know, I think they got everybody. <laughs> right? <laughs> just, just judging by the stories, I feel like they kind of got everybody. Because the first stories that came out, they were fucking unbelievable. It was just guys taking their dicks out at work, like, look at it, look at it! Ah, ah, ah. Fucking blocking doors and jizzing on plants. You fucking at home watching, Jesus Christ, people did this shit? I remember this, this one poor woman said she was a PA, went into some director's uh, trailer, and he came, allegedly, came running out, masturbating vigorously while holding a shrimp cocktail. <laughs> I swear to God. I know that's fucked up, but I gotta tell you something. It's a little bit funny that she felt the need to use the adjective vigorously after she said he was masturbating. He was masturbating vigorously. I'm thinking in my head like, uh, as opposed to what? As far as I know, there is only one successful way to perform that act, and that would be vigorously. Is there another way to do it? Can you do it passively, you know? Is that how Sting does it? Is that how he's able to fuck for hours and hours? Fans a little air on it, he puts on fields of gold, just lets that thing rise up. Just, just letting it marinate, right? <laughs> yeah, so the stories were big in the beginning, like, oh my God, what a bunch of fucking animals. And then they, they just started tapering, tapering off. And about, I don't know, six months in, they just sounded like bad dates. It was like, he was, he was 10 minutes late, the chicken was cold, I think I was raped, career over! <laughs> what about my side of the story? Fuck your side of the story! You have a dick and balls, we don't want to hear it! Yeah. It's really weird how the whole thing, it went from like nobody listening, men not listening to women at all, to just this total overcorrection that anything they fucking said means it happens, you know? They got these hashtags like, you know, believe women. Believe women, right? It's a little open-ended, huh? Just straight across the fucking board? All of them? Every last fucking one of them? What about the psychos? What about the ones that key your car and light your shit on fire because you didn't, you didn't fucking answer a text? What about them? Huh? How about you believe like 88% and that last 12% that's out of their fucking minds? You know, I think that's a fair percentage, wouldn't you? No? Are you too afraid to not believe? No, no, that's, that's the world we're fucking living in right now. No, everything has just become fucking absolutes in, 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 in the States. It's fucking nuts. Like that Colin Kaepernick guy, right? You knew when he was like protesting during the national anthem, no one was going to listen to what the fuck he had to say, no matter how much he explained it. He goes, I'm taking a knee during the national anthem. This is a protest about police brutality, the way people of color are treated. We'd like to open a dialogue. He got about halfway through that. People are like, my brother's fighting in Iraq, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> it's just like, buddy, buddy. Nobody is saying your brother isn't in Iraq fighting. You're not listening. This is about police brutality. My brother's a firefighter. He watched 9-11 on television. No, 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 buddy. Nobody's saying that your brother's not a firefighter. I got a bone spur in my heel. I can still stand up during the fucking song. Buddy, nobody is saying you can't see a fucking podiatrist. All right? You're not listening. That's what it became. It went from not listening to women to just believe women, right? And then, you know, and then people just like, did you see that story? Did you read the story? You, you can't make something like that up. I always want to be like, well, did you see Star Wars? <laughs> I mean, somebody made that up. They made like fucking 15 of them, you know? People can make shit up, right? You're part of the fucking problem. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no means no, that's another one. No means no. It's like, no, it doesn't. All right? <laughs> Look, no means no. No, that means no, all right? But no, stop it, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God, you're being so bad, stop it. No, yeah, that's not a fucking no. That means I wanna do it, but I'm afraid you're gonna judge me, so I'm just gonna make it look like it was your idea so you don't figure out that I've already performed this act with 40 other fucking people, right? <laughs> but then, then you go to court and you get a bad read and there's some guy reading it. Ah, oh, your honor, she said no. Stop it, what are you doing? You're being so bad. <laughs> yeah, and you just sit me like, she didn't fucking say it like that! She didn't say it like that! <laughs> yeah, so now everybody's just like scared shitless. 
You know, because I guess if women ran the world, there'd be no war. Evidently, there'd be no due process either. 